Hi, my name is Tyler Wojohowicz. I'm an application engineer here at Symmetry Electronics. Today, we'll be going over a small demo with an Arduino, a TDK Meekerness Hall sensor, and some addressable LEDs. TDK Meekerness makes single axis Hall sensors, multi axis Hall sensors, and Hall switches, all with near zero parts per million defective. The Hall sensor specifically that we are using is the Hall 2425 which is from the single axis sensor family. It outputs an analog voltage, which we will input into the Arduino and in turn visualize with the addressable LEDs. I'm uploading my sketch now. Okay, and here I have my Hall 2425 single axis TDK Meekerness sensor and a magnet, and you can see as I move the magnet closer to the sensor, we have a nice output of that analog voltage onto the addressable LEDs. Now if I use a smaller magnet and try to repeat, I can't reach that full threshold on the LEDs. And that's where the programming environment comes into effect. So I'm going to unplug my TDK Meekerness single axis hall sensor from the Arduino. And I'm going to plug it into my hall USB extension board and USB programmer. Now that I've got it plugged in here, I'm going to open up the hall 24 family programming interface. There's some nice calibration tools, linearization, and then sensor settings, which we're going to open. Okay, with Hall sensor settings open, we're gonna change the magnetic range from 200 millitesla to 50 millitesla, and save those settings to the EEPROM. Now I'm going to remove the sensor from the Hall USB programming kit and programming board, and plug them back into the Arduino. Now you can see, when I use my smaller magnet, I can reach the full threshold on the addressable LEDs. Although I didn't change any of the hardware or code on the Arduino, I am able to use the smaller magnet and see the full threshold on the addressable LEDs. As you can see, this is advantageous to be able to reprogram the TDK Meekerness Hall sensor and you can do that with the one we are using along with many others. Thanks for watching.